Hey, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today we're going to find out how much amperage this four port DeWalt battery charger takes. This is a, a wonderful tool right here. It can charge four batteries simultaneously and they're all on fast charge. It has a built in fan and what it does, it takes AC current from a, a regular uh, outlet and the current goes into the unit and inside the unit there's something called a rectifier and the rectifier converts that AC amperage to DC amperage and that amperage is used to charge up these batteries so I got a couple 9.0 amp hour batteries here I got a 6.0 amp hour battery and I got a 4 amp hour battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little cell phone here. <laughs> See what? Anyway, the cell phone is connected to a Fluke 289. Okay, so we got a, a Fluke 289 here and, and the cell phone. And see, it's connected with this IR3000 FC connector. It allows you to uh, get the same measurements that are on the 289 and you can walk around with this you can walk around all around the job site and still have the same measurements so you can monitor what's going on with whatever you're testing and today we're testing uh, this uh, battery charger first thing to do is check out the nameplate and on this unit the nameplate is underneath so this is the number and it charges both 12 volt max and 20 volt max batteries the input's 120 volts AC. And here we get into the really important information when you're checking out amperage. We have 10.0 amps. And in parentheses, it says nominal 10 comma 0 amps. So the unit will run comfortably between 0 and 10 amps. And in general, uh, they'll take 10% more than this for a very short period of time. So uh, it's rated at 10 amps and nominal is uh, running amperage so this will actually run for a period a longer period of time at 10 amps without a problem so we got rated amperage and nominal amperage and this is very interesting here single port output 8.0 amps now people wonder you know if this is a 10 amp appliance and it's got four ports how in the world is it going to handle 8.0 amps on each port and the answer is the next symbol right here DC so uh, this is 10 amps AC coming in and the output is 8.0 amps DC which is nominal 8 comma 0 amps which means that it will comfortably operate in a range between 0 and 8 amps and then the symbol to the right is the DC symbol that's the straight line with the three dots below it that's a symbol for DC so what is happening the amperage is being converted from alternating current to direct current and the device that is in this unit is called a rectifier so the AC current is rectified to DC current and it'll put out 8 amps DC at each port simultaneously so single port output 8.0 amps DC nominal 8 comma 0 amps DC at the outlet I have an AC line splitter plugged into the outlet this splits your current to a hot side and a neutral side so that you can put a clamp meter or in this case I have a fluke I 400 AC current clamp put into the times one slot see the AC line splitter has a times one slot and a times ten slot and the times ten slot is going to be more accurate the times one slot is going to be more simple for us so I am choosing the simplicity and I'm putting in the times one slot I've plugged the cord into the AC line splitter and that has a switch and then the battery charger is plugged into that so when I turn on the switch the battery charger is going to come on the AC current clamp has a cord which attaches to the Fluke 289. The common lead goes to the common jack and the red lead goes to milliamps. 
and up here at the switch I have it set to milliamps. The reason I have the jacks and the switch set to milliamps is that the measurements of the Fluke I-400 AC current clamp need to be multiplied by 1000. That will give us amps which this battery charger is going to be functioning in amps. It would take a very small appliance to be using only milliamps. So we're going to be logging and graphing the amperage used by the battery charger. And the way we start out is you press save. And now we have our choice of save, view memory, delete, or record. And we'd like to record. So I press it right there, and then I press the F1 button right underneath record. And okay, now we're going to set duration. I will say edit. And then I'll go over and I'll set this for four minutes. Okay, that'd be good. All right, so I'm going to say okay. When we're ready to start, I'll press this button right here and we'll start our logging and graphing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press start on the logging and graphing. And then I'm going to turn the battery charger on. And you notice it takes a little bit for this to start. It doesn't start all, at all at once right away. It has a delay. And I'm going to uh, tell you more about that later when we go over the graph. You see now it's at about 6.6 .6 amps AC. And it's starting to stabilize now. It's about 6.69, 6.68. So it's pretty stable now. All the action was in the first five seconds or so. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and turn off the battery charger. Okay, so now we see here that the very last reading was 6.74 amps. So this is the last instantaneous reading. This symbol right here means high voltage. It means any voltage over 30 volts AC. So we're going to go ahead and say save. And we're going to name it recording number 21 and save. Okay, now we're going to get the trend. We're going to get the graph and see what it looks like. So I'm going to press F3 as the button right below trend. And there we go. Okay, remember I mentioned it starts slow. So this is circuitry built into this particular battery charger. See, it starts up and then a damper comes on and uh, keeps it low. And this is to prevent uh, spiking at startup. A startup amperage can be quite high. It can get up to, for something like this, you know, 11 or 12 amps and can cause your circuit to blow or cause other problems. So this is a very nice unit and that includes dampening down here and then it comes up and it runs at about 6.7 6.8 and so forth and it's nice and steady here maybe it's increasing just ever so slightly and then I turn the 289 off so let's look at the summary we'll hit F3 and uh, here's your last reading and we went for 42 seconds there was 42 interval samples and there was seven events. All right, so now we're going to close. After you've closed out, if you'd like to see the graphic again, hit save and hit view memory, view, and there's your recording view, and then trend. Okay, so here's the graph. Now, what I'd like to say about this charger is this an excellent charger? I love that it has this circuitry included uh, so that it doesn't spike. It doesn't put too much pressure on your circuit. That's very thoughtful of them. And it never really got over 7 amps AC. Now I'm going to charge two batteries at once instead of four. And let's see what happens. So I turned the 289 to start. So I'm logging now. And... Here we have 3.3 uh, amps being used. And you saw some action there right at the start where it, it went up and down. And now it's stabilized at 3.3 amps. 
Here's what the graph looked like after both batteries were fully charged. You see the amperage spikes up right at first to about 5.2, 5.3 amps. Then it comes all the way down almost to zero. Then it comes up and it stabilizes at 3.3. So the charger is working hard right now at 3.3 and then it drops down in stages. And you can see right about this point where one of the batteries is now fully charged. And so now it stabilizes at about 1.3 amps, uh, just charging one battery. And then it drops down and both batteries are now fully charged. When I clicked on minimum maximum, I find that the maximum amperage used during the charging of the two batteries was 5.266 amps AC. And the average amperage used was only about 2.9 amps. So this charger really isn't the amperage hog that you might think it is. In conclusion, I'm very impressed with this battery charger. It protects you from amperage spikes at startup and it seems to be quite efficient with amperage. So if you have a large job site with lots of DeWalt tools, I would highly recommend this battery charger. I'll put a link in my video description for this battery charger and I'll put a link for the Fluke 289 logging and graphing meter, the Fluke IR3000FC, the Amp Probe AC line splitter, and the Fluke I400 AC current clamp. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.